All right, so I just lit the stove. I don't have the uh, I don't have the manifold on top of the firebox right now for the air inlet, or what Paul Wheaton calls his bubble. But anyway, um, you can see how the opening of the downspout sits right at the top of the rim for my pellet fire basket and they just drop down in as they're consumed from the bottom up. Now I took the front panel off so that I can remove this brick and you can see just how they burn in the fire basket. All right. So that's how it burns in the fire basket. And that's as far up the fire basket as it will travel. So it only burns in the region in front of the horizontal burn tube. That boundary layer there is, is as high up as it goes. Maybe just a little bit higher, but uh, that's it. That's as far up as it goes. The air traveling down the firebox opening from the top down helps keep the, uh, the burn contained into the lower portion of the firebox. These are the top of my pellets as they're burning right now. And you can see that the, the level of the pellets inside my fire basket is about uh, three inches below the top rim where, where my uh, downspout hangs in front of that little uh, copper copper wire hook just holds it in place over the top of the pellet basket and the actual burning is taking place down low inside there the heat coming off here is really really intense and I can't hold my camera here much longer but you can see that even though the pellets have dropped down that far we still haven't gotten to the point where we've uh, reached where the pellets are actually burning and that's why the top of my pellet basket stays cool that's why I never get any burn back going up the feed tube and the downspout at all ever the burn zone is restricted down inside the firebox and it's kind of hard to see because you're getting a lot of reflection now off the uh, off the aluminum foil that surrounds the top half of the fire basket. There you can see it pretty well now, like that. All right. So, it's not until the, uh, the pellets actually move in front of the horizontal burn tube do they actually start to burn. That's the area where the burn begins. And I thought you guys might like to see that. the rocket has uh, has stopped it may pick up again but it's still going to drop another inch or so before you actually see the embers on the top of the uh, on the top of the pellets there inside the fire basket also note that I have a, a small gap in front of the pellet basket right there that allows air in in front of the fire basket, which injects air into the uh, into the horizontal burn tube ahead of the pet burning pellets to uh, provide more complete combustion and allow for the adjustment of the air to fuel ratio mixture just by positioning the fire basket front to rear in the uh, in the opening of the firebox. There it goes again. And these will burn out. I'll shake the rest of the embers into the bottom and I'll pull the basket out and then I'll seal it off. I'll seal it off, seal it off with this. This is just a piece of brick that I've got some uh, fireplace rope glued to. And I just put this down on top of the opening to shut the stove off. And uh, it retains a lot of the uh, latent heat inside, inside the stove so that it can continue radiating 
whatever heat was stored. If I don't do that, then it just uh, continues to suck air in from the outside. You continue to flow air from the outside through the firebox up through the riser inside and cools itself down rather quickly. Okay, so now we're now we're just getting to the point where the top the top of the uh, the pellets are burning. All right? And that is about five, five and a half, almost six inches from the top rim now. And that's as close as the hot embers get to the tip of my, my downspout. And at this point, my downspout is already empty, so there's no, there's no chance of, uh, of the fire backfeeding up my downspout. And here's one last look at the, uh, at the burning embers now. On top. Let's see if you can see that. It's kind of bright. There we go. So yeah, the burning embers now are at the bottom of the fire basket. They're dying out. And in a moment, I'm going to shake the remainders of these down in the bottom and seal it off.